Hello, and thank you for calling the service desk. My name is Chris, and I'm going to be your host for today's video. In this video, I'm going to go over what you need to do and what you need to install in order to access the Citrix published environment that's published by our organization or your, your organization. The setup will vary slightly in a couple of ways, which I'll point out. Depending on your environment, things might be a little different, but our environment is a pretty standard type of presentation that will most likely apply to you in your organization if you're not a Fragment employee as well. So feel free to watch the video and share it with other people. We're all kind of in the same boat now. Um, like us, many organizations almost overnight find that the majority of their staff are working remotely and many for the first time. So we're going to go over the things that you need to do to get up and running in your company's Citrix environment. We typically recommend that you use Chrome for this process. Citrix, the Citrix plugin or Citrix receiver uh, can be a little bit finicky with some of the other web browsers. We only recommend that you use Chrome or the outdated Internet Explorer seems to work just fine uh, in this process. But in this, today's tutorial, we are going to be using Chrome. So we're going to go ahead and start out by opening Chrome. And we are going to go download the Citrix Workspaces app. Um, which contains the Citrix receiver, which is exactly what we need to launch our published applications. To get that, go to this URL. It's very easy. It's just receiver.citrix.com. Press Enter. You're going to be presented with this page, and you'll see here that there is a big blue button that says Download for Windows, and if you're running a Mac, it'll say Download for Mac. There is a Citrix receiver client available for Linux. We're not going to go over that in this video. And I'm not sure if it even automatically detects that you're running Linux if you go to this site. But for PC and Mac, you're just going to click the big blue button right here, download for Windows or download for Mac, whatever applies to you. It's going to redirect you to another page with yet another blue download Citrix workspaces for Windows button. Click that. Since we're using Chrome, the download is going to populate down here in the bottom left hand corner and when this blue circle reaches the whole way around that's how you know that your download is finished and ready to be installed. If you're using Internet Explorer you'll get a banner down here at the bottom that gives you a couple of options to run, save, or cancel. I would recommend that you hit run for the purposes of this tutorial and with the Chrome here it just finished here so we will right click on this option and select open. Once you click that, the installer is going to launch, and we're going to be presented with the user account control window, or what we call the UAC. Uh, Apple has a similar kind of interruption here that asks for you to allow um, the application to make changes to your computer. You'll have to provide your Apple ID if this is your personal uh, Mac, but we're running Windows, so we just need to click Yes here, and the installer is going to kick off. And what we go ahead and do is hit the start button right here. We're going to tick the box that says that we accept the license agreement, and then we're going to click Next, and we're going to click Install. Now, this installer has basically two different functions, and it halts pretty much in the middle and gives you an option to finish right there, um, or to add an account or add, add a profile. For our organization and for most organizations out there, that's all we need to do. We don't need to worry about adding a profile. We don't need to worry about adding a business account. Not at this point. So we're just going to continue through the installation until we get there. And we should be just about at that point right now. The installation time is going to vary a little bit depending on how fast your computer is. If you've got an older computer, maybe you're using a second computer to do your work and your kids are using the main computer to do their schoolwork. But when that bar gets to the end there, it's going to tell us that installation is successful. And this is the part that I was talking about where it gives, an it gives us an option to add an account or to finish. All we need to do is hit finish. That's it for the installation. We're going to now take our web browser and we're going to direct ourselves to the URL for our company's Citrix portal. Now this is going to vary, obviously, depending on what organization that you're a member of. But for us here at Fragamin, the URL is simply just citrix.fragman.com. Press enter. And it's going to take you to this login page here where you're going to provide your 
um, your network credentials. These are the same credentials that you would normally use to log into your PC in the office, uh, to access the Citrix environment within the office, and a variety of other things. But your regular username and password that you use to sign in your computer, that's what goes in here. Provide your username, provide your password, and click login or log on. Now, in the case of our organization, we use a two-factor authentication um, platform. We use Duo. You may use a different two-factor authentication, or you may use no two-factor authentication. But for us, we are using Duo for two-factor authentication. You need to have it set up on your phone prior to this. And if you haven't done that or you need assistance, you know, sorting out a problem with yours, please contact the service desk. Um, as I always say, you can find our contact information on the company intranet site. Um, and you can reach us by phone or by email. There is even a chat option available. Um, you can use any one of those methods to contact us if you're a Fragman employee or use whatever methods are available to you to contact your service desk at your, um, at your organization if you need to set up two-factor authentication. Um, I'm already set up, so I'm going to hit send me a push, and I'm going to get a notification that pops up on my mobile phone here, and it requires me to click the green approve button. And as soon as I do that, it's going to say success, and it's going to land me at the landing page for the Citrix storefront. Um, you'll see a page similar to this. We're going to hit detect receiver. We know it's already installed because we installed it, so we're just going to click this button here. Whoop. Cancel that. We're going to cl click this little tick box here, and then we're going to click this blue already installed button, and we're going to click that. No need for it to detect receiver because we just installed it. We know it's there. Then we're going to be presented with the Citrix storefront. And your organization might look a little bit different, but basically it's all the same. You're going to see a variety of published applications that are available to you. You might have desktops available, and that's what we're going to use. In some cases, you'll find that published desktops are under apps. It's going to vary from place to place, or even it can even vary depending on your role within your organization. So in this case, we're going to click Desktops. We're going to click Fragment Desktop 2016. It's going to download a little file called launch. Or it's usually called launch.ica. It may have a, a variety of other names, uh, but it's always going to end with a .ic extension. We'll right-click on that and select Open. And in just a couple of moments, we'll see that our desktop is going to start launching, um, provided by our Citrix uh, our Citrix environment takes a couple of seconds to load. We're going to get our terms of service there, which we'll click OK on, and then our desktop is going to load. You'll probably be presented with a little screen that looks like this. We're going to say, um, we're going to say, do not ask me again for the site, and click permit use. We can see now that our Citrix published desktop is available. Um, most of the applications that you use every day are going to be available here. You have access to the company intranet. You have access to um, proprietary applications, in our case, like Connect, which is a major thing that we use, and Microsoft Outlook, Lotus Notes, WebEx Teams, a variety of other things that you use every day in the office. And that's it. We did it. We're logged into our Citrix desktop, and that concludes our tutorial for today. Um, just as a little side note here, there's a little tab that hangs down here with some uh, additional options, like full screen is probably something you're going to want to want to use if it doesn't launch into full screen on its own. If you have any further questions or you have any difficulty, please reach out, reach out to us here at the service desk. Like I said earlier, our contact information is available on the company internet site. You can reach us via email or by phone. The contact information is all on there. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you are working productively and successfully at home and stay healthy out there.